Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna revisit the old nodes in Spreadshop called Image uh, Decomposer. And I'm gonna teach you how to create uh, something like this, like a pixel art based on the image on the left. So let's get started. It's not that hard actually. So compositing, Spreadshop add on, new, image decompose. Okay. So image decompose, uh, let's save it really quick. Image decompose skip and it's very simple nodes basically it is um, expecting some kind of image so we need to load an image but we need to drop it into blender first so let's uh, get a image editor and let's get our image this guy right here plug in here and so if you want to find out about the nodes and the functions uh, you can sometimes find uh, documentation online so let's try that okay image decomposer functionality to get output you must connect something to the first etc uh, etc et text RGB also basically based on this image uh, we're gonna load it I'm gonna skip like 10 pixels this is the the skip n pixel is the one that I'm interested in so if I load it, so we're gonna get this uh, X, Y, A information and R, G, B information, X, Y for the position and the polygon also. So let's actually get an output based on this first. So the easiest way, viewer B mesh, X, Y and the polygon and the matrix, we don't need to worry, R, G, B, this is what we want. So we have our mesh. Um, we actually need to ignore the, the alpha. There's an alpha here that we can use later. But we also need to have a vertex color. Switch to cycles and objects. And we just need to pass in the, the color. So currently our grid is looking something like Okay, so it's quite dense. So in that case, I will increase the number a little bit more, maybe like 20. Unload, reload. And there you go, now it's updated. This guy, now it has vertex color, but it's only green. Uh, let's check that really quick. It's new. So um, attribute, it's SP call. This is from here, from vertex color name. And let's render this out. Uh, we cannot see, it's too dark. So use emission. Okay, we have this color. Okay, so if you want the color uh, to come from this guy, we just need to pipe in the RGB, right? Oh, there's an error. Why is that? Uh, because this vertex color is expecting um, alpha, I believe. So we need to use color input and just separate all this uh, the RGB data into X, Y, and Z. And the alpha can actually come from this guy. So the more correct way is actually this X, Y goes into that guy. And then the Z goes into alpha and use alpha and plug this. Okay, now we have our kind of pixelated, but you can see that the pixel is not square, it's more like a diagonal, but it's, uh, it's pretty accurate. The cool thing is, is, of course, I want you to pay attention to the, the skip, skip and pixel. So imagine, uh, you might have seen this on YouTube video. Let's say image is made up of pixel, right? And in that video, the guy actually kind of make a hole in the pixel, and then after after he do that, um, he collect all this square and then put it together, so you get the smaller image, basically uh, more like a kind of like a pixel art. So that's basically kind of what's happening here. I quite like this uh, this look. Even though, yeah, it is uh, 
kind of like a pixelated version of this. You can do similar thing using just cycles and what is the name of this process? Um, quantization, I think. Um, but uh, anyhow, we like it this way because it's a mesh. We can do something a little bit more later. So if I want this to be square, if I use this this face, it's kind of becoming like this because the, the grid actually needs to be plus one. So whatever this XY is coming, uh, giving the data, it needs to be added by one. What I mean is that if we get the length of the XY, It says one seven six four square root of one seven six four is forty two. Okay, we have forty two. Forty two. That means if we have a plane, we need forty three instead of forty two. We just need to plug this into the B mesh. Now we have something that's a little bit more correct, even though it's a kind of slanted. We need to then rotate it. Okay, and maybe we need to also flip it, but I think I quite like this. Uh, anyway, you can do the flipping yourself. Um, yeah, what else can I do here? Don't worry. Um, we can always go back here. I quite like this one actually. Kind of nice. Maybe take a screenshot. We can go further. Skip like 35. And we also need to update this guy. So this link. So get the length of this. Use map. Just add add one. This goes into this guy. It's, it's trying to calculate it. Hmm. This should be correct, but uh, seems to be frozen. Open another blender. Maybe there's some kind of a uh, cyclic dependency there. So we say thirty-five, right? Let's do it. I cannot see this result. List plane. Uh, that's weird. Well, anyhow, let's try to eyeball this. Anyhow, XY goes in there. This is the grid with rotations. Maybe let this. So X, Y, Z, that's the alpha. Let's get this back to the origin. <clears throat> Sorry. Been having this really bad flu and cold. Oh, I need to load it. I forgot. Okay. 
so we have this so where is our objects select we select it okay this guy is pretty small that's why okay so now we need to upgrade our grid into this guy so but it's all messed up we need to have smaller so I kind of guessing what's the exact number There we go, 25. This one is actually not too bad. We still kind of having this uh, the details of the character, and it's a now it's a pixelated character. Of course, pixel art artists will make this better. You know, like make this a little bit more contrasty. But I found this to be quite interesting. Uh, there is one more thing that you can do actually to exactly do what I say, like the quantization. Um, I think I have an example here. So we need to decompose. Yeah, with this guy. This is slightly more elaborate. So you need to reload this image decompose. So this actually uses uh, cycles quantizations. This is how you do a quantization of image. Multiply, round, divide. Multiply, round, divide. That's for the x, y. Um, that's actually kind of making sure uh, how to say it's kind of like pixelating your image by remapping the coordinates, something like that. So this result is probably you what you want uh, depending on what case. This is probably it's gonna give you kind of a better result in terms of color, I guess. So you probably want it to be something like this. Yeah. So in this case, I'm kind of cheating. Uh, this guy is from Square Chalk. They're like a bunch of uh, boxes, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. This is similar image decompose and bit of formula. But this this one generates a bunch of boxes that you can later animate. Um, yeah, you can try rebuilding this and then <clears throat> give the color uh, using the quantization that's shown here. All right, there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.